Douglas Hot Springs, here we come. G'day guys, so today we're heading to the Douglas Hot Springs, which is 40k off the Stewart Highway. So, mate, like it's 32 degrees outside, and apparently these hot springs are really, really hot. So, um, yes. it's gonna be awesome, right? You know, it's hot, pumping up some hot, hot springs. Yeah, mate. And uh, uh, hoping to boil some eggs, you know? Boil some eggs. <laughs> awesome idea, we gotta try that. We got one spare from breakfast. And also we're gonna go up to Butterfly Falls, which is just a bit further up. So gonna check that out too. So stick around, let's see what's up here. Hey Michael, do you want a music bar? Yeah, sure mate. All right. What the? What the heck happened <laughs> to that? <laughs> I think a paper towel dispenser dispensed. <laughs> dispensed all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to roll it back up. Alright, Mesh, now I know you've seen it because you took off while I was cooking lunch. Uh huh. But just pretend that you're still excited in the video, alright? Yeah, but just be careful when you go in, alright? Why? That is hot! <laughs> Far out! <laughs> so thought you said this is the cold one. Is it the cold one? No, this is the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the cold one then? On the other side. Alright. Oh, so apparently this is the colder one. Wow. That's totally normal water, isn't it? It was cold compared to that one. Yeah. So that way is all cold water. That way is all hot water. Is that right, Misha? So it goes from cold to hot. Wow, that's hot as. Far out, that's like burning hot. Oh. So that there behind us is actually where the water's coming out of the ground and it is roasting hot, isn't it? Yep. It's just unbelievably hot. How many degrees do you reckon it's got? 50. Another one coming straight out of the ground. Oh. Oh, Must be at least 50 or 60 because that's pretty warm. I'm s like, it's a shame there's no signs anywhere, hey? Mm. Oh, Saying about how hot it is. Like, how nice is this little creek? Like, the little waterfall, just, just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's just nice to be in some nice, refreshing water after yeah. a hot day. Such a hot day today. You know what might make it better, though? What? A cup of tea? Yeah, a cup of tea would be sweet. But an Australian afternoon? Yeah, Australian afternoon tea, mate. They go down a treat right now. Oh, all right. Well, you wait here, and I'll go get it. Legend. Right. Get on you, mate. How do you like your tea? I oh, just white with one, thanks mate. White with one? Alright. Afternoon delight. Just be enough hot water. Mate, he's taking his sweet time. One for me, one for you. There you go, mate. Here's your tea. Cheers, bro. Mate, that's a uh, taste bit interesting, eh? Hey, I gave you one milk, one sugar. What do you expect, mate? It, it tastes good. I'm sorry, mate. All right, all right. You didn't pee in it, did you? No, nah, I wasn't making my own hot water. All right, no worries. So, where did you get the hot water from, then? Do you really want to know? Just another beautiful day up in the Northern Territory. So, 
This one's a little bit different to all the other hot springs we've been to in that it's very shallow and the water's not crystal clear. I have no idea what he's doing back in that waterfall over there, but anyway. But yeah, definitely worth a visit. It's actually pretty funny because there's uh, the first section of, the first spring kind of section. It's boiling hot and you come over here and it's beautiful and cool. So if you touch the first section and say, no, I'm not getting into that, come over to the second section and have a go at this cool water because it's awesome. What is he doing over there? Down a fair way earlier. so what do you think of this place? Pretty awesome. Yeah. There's so much to explore here. That's a bit boring, isn't it? Just checked out Douglas Hot Springs. Very different to the other hot springs we've seen, but still very, very nice. Oh, kind of a little bit of a creek crossing. Oh, oh the big one. You're gonna get should the tires we wet, it? mate. Oh, we walk it? Yeah, you should walk it, mate. Oh, put it in full drive, bro. It already is, bro. Oh, okay, good man. Anyway, we're just heading to Butterfly Gorge now to check that out. Have a look around there. Apparently the falls aren't really flowing, but still it's nice. As we've heard from some caravans that we talked to. It's a very social thing, this touring business, isn't it? That's it, especially when you're a grey nomad like yourself, Michael. Mate, that's it. When you, when you have crocs, they respect you. I'll tell you what, man. Bringing two dot tire deflators was the best idea you ever had. Yeah, not bad. Except for I'm wearing mine out, you know. Oh, really? That's the real issue. La -la. We just let the tyres down to 25 just for the sake of comfort. And for the sake of cyan, you know. Oh, that's it. Gotta save her shoes. You know, when you get older, Misha, like, you know, growing nomad, your back starts playing up. So you, you just need the comfortable ride. Yep. Yeah. So as Mesa just said, there are crocodiles in this one. Where does it say that? At the bottom. You can swim in the river near the rocky outcrops of the main pools at the base of the gorge. Oh, freshwater crocodiles. Live in the gorge. Please do not approach or interfere with them. Mate, they're friendly. Well, look at him. Doesn't he look friendly? Yeah, he looks very friendly. Look at him. Friendly as pie. All right, mate. Stop wasting time. Let's go. Sun's going to go down if you keep yakking like this. Hold on. Oh, let's just drive down there, mate. It's an awesome time of day to be doing this walk. The sun's started to go down, there's lots of shade, it's starting to cool off a little bit. And best part is, we're the only ones here at the moment. Nobody else in the car park, so we've got the place to ourselves. Mate, where have you been? Here, there, around the block, you know? So, uh, Misha had a probably 10 minute head start on me and somehow I got here before him. Well, you took a shortcut, I had to go up. Oh, okay. right, right, yeah, okay. But tell you what, what a, what a beautiful place to see the sun go down. <laughs> Isn't that just magic? Oh, mate, like, if you just went to the other pool, you'd be like, this sucks. Yeah. I highly recommend if you do the lookout walk, there's not much of a lookout, and make sure you wear good shoes. <laughs> Did you actually get to the lookout? I'm assuming it was the lookout. <laughs> oh, really? That obviously well signposted. <laughs> wow. Ready for a swim? 
Uh, mate, I already saw a few splashes around in there, so I'm good. They're just freshies. You said uh, they're friendly. Yeah, they just nibble. They don't bite. Mum, Dad, if you find us, just know that I love you. And uh, it was all Michael's idea. Crocodiles afraid of noise? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> just remember, just like another fish, <coughs> swimming in the ocean. Yeah, right. We found the jackpot! Right there! Here, put your foot, put, put, you put your foot on that little step there and I'll put you up. So do you think there's crocodiles in here? I bet you could jump in here though. We just swam across the big pool and there's just little waterfall after little waterfall until eventually you come to this another big pool and it keeps going. Definitely worth swimming up if you can crawl yourself up through the little gap. And you're not afraid well, of we're... crocodiles. Yeah, and if you're not afraid of crocs, freshies don't hurt you much. Oh really? Like you just can't see the bottom. Can you touch the bottom? So rocky. Like <laughs> you stop scared, alright? <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. Alright, alright, you wanna see butterfly, butterfly gorge? Alright. Back up. My turn. It's just a barramundi, mate. Nah, like really, it's just fish, hey. It's just a barramundi. I can see it. Sure you can. Do you want to go first? No, so you, mate. I want first to get it in here. Mate, why me? Because I'm the faster swimmer. So they grab on the That's how you do it, folks. Me. Man, can that you was know? something else. That was awesome. That was sweet. Like, that was... Both of us are a little bit paranoid about the freshies. Yep, very paranoid <laughs> very about the freshies. <laughs> Especially because there's these big fish up that end. And fish. Just, fish, uh -huh, uh -huh. fish. And they're just swimming around. You can see all the ripples on the surface. No, you see the bubbles popping the up. The bubbles as well. It's like, <laughs> oh man. And then, and then you're like, do we swim around them or go through them? <laughs> but yeah, if, you, if you're young and fit, you can clamber up through that first little waterfall. waterfall yeah. And then you got five, six, five six, pools. seven, seven other pools after that. A couple so. small ones and at least yeah. one big pool. That's so it. So pretty sweet. And we're here pretty late in the dry season too and they're still running water. Yeah. So yeah, that's it's it. awesome, man. And then back to the other hot springs, Douglas Hot Springs. Well worth checking out. Pretty mint. Um, just, they're different to all the ones at Mataranka, but still very cool. So we go, Sandy bottom. We go back there for a late night dip or what? Yeah, I reckon, for sure. Right. I need nice a, hot water, cool evening. That's it. There's no showers back at camp as well, so. Oh, that's it too. Mint. All right. Love it. Catch you guys in the next episode. See you later. Head into Litchfield next. Bye.